Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR2015, that's VAR2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be continuing our series on Autodesk Showcase 2016. In this screencast, we'll take a look at materials in the um, uh, software and also how to create alternative lineups. Uh, here I am in Revit 2016. I have a storyboard already set up. I have some shots that I've already created. And I have the material dialog box open. And I also have the alternative lineups open. We're going to work with the materials and alternative lineups hand in hand so that you can create different schemes of how your design is to look that we can then place into our storyboard to play out. And that way it'll give the client a way to watch a presentation of what the alternative designs may look like. So how do we do this? I'm going to close shots for now. I'll go over here and I'll zoom in and I'll make some adjustments. Now let's change how things look in regards to materials. So let's say I select this object and I want to select all the other objects in this model that are the same name with that material. So I click this, right click and do that. Now that all of those are selected, I can right click any material that I want uh, in my list of library materials that's in the current project and assign it or I can go to the material library and do the same thing as well. Uh, by the way, to open up the material library, you can just hit M if you need to. And uh, you can also go and click material library under the appearance menu pull down. So let's say, for example, I have um, the objects that I want selected, and this is the material that I want it to be. I'll right click that and say assign to selection, and it'll get assigned. I can select other objects and do the same thing. So maybe, for example, tile will do this one, and we'll make some adjustments. We'll select these as well. <clears throat> And we can scroll up and down the different material library here and right click assign and it'll do so. I'll do this and make some changes. So if I go to the material library, let's do, by the way, when you're working with the material library, you have showcase materials, extended materials, Autodesk materials, and your own library. The first three are locked by default, so you can't change them. Uh, it came, showcase came from the automotive type of industry uh, thinking and process, so car paints is an available selection choice. Uh, let me head over to extended materials and look at, uh, say, for example, uh, leather. Now, if we want to take a material that's in the default libraries and copy and paste them into our current showcase file, all we need to do is right click the one that we want and uh, copy scene to materials and then I can also right click and say assign to selection and it will do so. When we're all said and done with creating the way we want the design to look, we'll go ahead and we'll select the entire model. That way it grabs all the objects and then you can click add next alternative and it will capture all the information that you just made to a new alternative which you can rename whatever you want. Okay, I have three of them there. So I'll just take this one now and I'll right click and I'll add it to the current storyboard. And if I hit play, it'll play out this storyboard from start to finish, shot one all the way through alternative three. And I can also, by the way, click the alternative icon over here as it's playing and you'll see it change the materials of the model on the fly. And this is to help give the client an understanding of what would happen as they're watching and they just want to change something just to present for presentation purposes. And that's it. That's how you work with materials and alternative lineups in Showcase. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.